great story of exploration. Branching dialogues. Player growth. That's where you get that really, really great role-playing experience. So in 2005, we were talking about what we wanted our next game to be. And we had just finished making uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and we were heavy into Neverwinter Nights 2. In case he saw you as a challenge for my affections, it's like a cage match with you boys. And at the same time, we were, we were looking at some of the new action games that were coming out, and we're like, wow, some of this stuff is, is really exciting and really cool. Can we maybe meld these things together? We want to make a role-playing game, but you know, we also we need to try something a little different. And uh, he proposed to us this idea of a, of a sort of lone agent on the run. Uh, who had enacted this program called Alpha Protocol. In this case, we're making a, a, a modern-day espionage world. We were looking at some of the cool stuff that was happening with Jason Bourne and watching a lot of 24, and we got really excited about the espionage genre. In Alpha Protocol, you start off as a competent agent, but he hasn't done many, uh, many missions before or anything like that. He's really new to the field. And as you're going through and you're getting your training in the game, you are, are set up on particular missions. And as you go through one of these missions, you find out that there's giant global conspiracy going on. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program's secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. And weapon shipments are being sent out, and there's possible American agencies that are involved with this. And then the rest of the world opens up to you, and you soon, soon find your hands trying to prevent a worldwide crisis from happening. We actually allow you to choose your motivation and what you want to do for the game. Uh, it can be anything from simple uh, revenge to uh, you're extremely patriotic and want to carry out your duty and your mission no matter what. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you. Uh, you could be a thrill seeker or a cowboy who just wants to sort of ride the wave and see where it goes. But uh, any motivation the player wants to undertake for their character, they can. What you do now, huh? Kill me? Let's not get your missiles back. 